Imagine a massive earthquake has just struck the city. This hall was completely devastated. Lights went out, and all aisles and exits were blocked by the ruins. The earthquake had damaged one of the cell towers, knocking out all communication to our area. The IDF's Home Front Command will be responsible for the evacuation. And we would like this process to be as efficient as possible. What if they had a technology that could show where the destroyed buildings have stood before the earthquake demolished them? And once they will enter this hall, they would be able to see where the emergency exits were located and where are all the possible locations in which trapped people may be found in? A 3D map of the area would equip first responders with the most information possible. The rescuers will be presented with a detailed information stream, overlaid and anchored on top of a physical world. This seamless integration between our digital and physical lives will bring a never-before transparency to the scene of the incident. Today's cutting-edge technology allows us to make decisions not only faster, but also smarter. Each one of us makes an average of 35,000 remotely conscious decisions each day. Unfortunately, some of them will probably turn out to be wrong. The US military have coined the phrase OODA loop, which refers to the decision cycle of observation, orientation, decision, and action. There's an increasing emphasis in military operations on the faster pace at which decisions must be made. The cost of poor decisions can be catastrophically high, and their impact on the battlefield may become a matter of life or death. You have just got a short glimpse of how the augmented reality technology can completely change rescue operations. Augmented reality is the integration of digital information with our physical world in real time. Unlike virtual reality, which creates a totally artificial environment, augmented reality uses the existing environment and overlays new information on top of it. By a show of hands, who chased Pokemons on the streets last summer? Or bumped into others that did? The gaming app Pokemon Go is a great example for augmented reality. However, Augmented reality can be put to work in many other fields besides gaming and improve our daily lives. The information edge is coming to an end. We are about to enter the experience edge, where content has become an experience. You can hear it, touch it, and interact with it. I believe that augmented reality will be the defining technology of this new era. All of the tech industry's major players have identified this trend as the next industrial revolution and have invested heavily in this new platform. The military is no different. There are countless applications for augmented reality, and we're interested in how we can benefit from this technology. Let me share some examples with you. I'm sorry, but I had to leave the classified apps back in the base. When working remotely, even the most capable professionals can encounter situations where they need a helping hand. For example, on front command operators can view relevant information, such as instruction manuals, upon an interactive 3D model. Even remote assistants Guiding on how to operate the emergency equipment is available. The recruitment of augmented reality technology 
to unique scenarios like this one will allow safer and more efficient operations. Augmented reality has the potential to improve military health care. When it comes to preparing army medics for war zone conditions, it's quite difficult to recreate the stressful atmosphere of battle. Augmented reality can help simulate these chaotic conditions in order to better prepare field medics. It allows a very authentic teaching environment on top of a physical world. Learning is empowered through trial and error across a spectrum of educational institutions and adaptive levels of training. However, no matter how immersive augmented reality treatment will become over the next few years, we we'll probably won't feel quite like the real thing. Picture a young paramedic giving first aid to a wounded soldier on the battlefield for his first time. Or perhaps to one of us that got injured in the earthquake. The paramedic's training period comes down to few critical moments. Wouldn't you wish for an experienced doctor to remotely monitor and guide every step of a young paramedic? Using today's augmented reality technology, we can achieve a new standard of care. The remote doctor can experience the whole process from the medic's eyes and lead him through the operation using video, sound, and even live drawing on the medic's reality's view. Plus, the entire treatment will be recorded by the augmented reality headset and could be used to assess the wounded soldier's condition at the emergency room. The next generation of augmented reality treatment will allow us even faster and better treatment. The wounded soldier will be diagnosed in real time using a smart artificial intelligence algorithm. The paramedic would be able to treat the wounded soldier while guided by the most relevant and accurate instructions displayed through the augmented reality headset. Here's another example. Think of how you've got here today. Who have used a navigation app like Waze, Google Maps? Yes, don't be shy. <laughs> Maps have been used in militaries for many years. Today, when planning a military operation, commanders use maps with several layers of data. Augmented reality will allow us to replace two-dimensional maps with a 3D hologram and visualize the surface topography, troop movements, enemy positions, and much, much more. I'd like to show you a live example for the future of battle planning. You will see the hologram exactly as I see it on the screen behind me. This area was captured by a drone and inserted into a holographic display. I can change the troop's position with a simple gesture, like this one and get them closer to the enemy marked with the red triangles. Commanders can use 3D maps like this to make plans and simulate scenarios in an intuitive and collaborative way. Misunderstanding of a situation on ground can be prevented thanks to the realistic display of a hologram. Cool, huh? We can also generate 3D models based on live images from the field. Integrating these new models accurately into the hologram's environment will display a constantly updating live map. This will allow commanders to perform reassessment through better situational awareness and improve the ongoing battle plan. No one knows for sure how this groundbreaking technology will evolve over the next few years. But there's a good reason to believe that augmented reality is among the technologies that will most profoundly change our day-to-day -day lives. The only thing constant in life is change. And with this in mind, we constantly try to adapt and embrace the evolving technology at the military. You should be prepared. Augmented reality will bring us new digital experiences. 
we are nearing the tipping point of displaying lifelike objects. And we'll soon enter the world of augmented virtual reality. The physical world will be enhanced by an overlay of information, which will look so real, you won't be able to tell the difference. The march to the technological future seems less certain, but more exciting than it did before. So for now, I will leave you with this question. What is more important? What is real or what only seems real? Thank you.